and welcome to Tax TV. Uh, what a difference a game makes. Um, weekend come midweek game, and we're going into midweek again, uh, going into the weekend again, Ryan. Uh, I mean, where did that come from? Uh, early start goal, you kind of out to prove. I mean, not only uh, result, but I mean, performance, but different as night and day, mate, wasn't it? It was unbelievable. I mean, the perfect response, really, wasn't it? The perfect yeah. response to a, to a, you know, a poor display on Saturday, really. And you can't, you couldn't have asked for any more. You know, they really turned it around. They went completely the opposite to what they did on on Sat on Saturday. Where it was very negative, very passive, too much side to side. They were very direct. They moved the ball around. Lovely. That first half performance were hmm. that that was beautiful. They played some really really nice football. Good to see uh, to see Cadden back. I have to say, I really like Nicky. I think he was just a bit off form, and then a couple of games has probably got his, um, you know, got the fight back in his belly, and he and he's come back and he's and he put a great performance in again, uh, another goal. He always pops, he always manages to pop up with one, doesn't he? So, um, yeah, absolutely buzzing, mate. I thought it were uh, literally the perfect response to a to a, a poor display on Saturday, but also, you know, Cambridge have been going all right this season. Mm. And, uh, you know, can, could have been a very tough. Um, a tough game at their place, really, because although it's not a massive stadium, they do fill it out. You know, they do they do fill it yeah, out. Pack it up, so, yeah. Yeah, and they, and they make it, make quite a bit of noise. So, yeah, really pleased, mate. Uh, and it's it's got to give the lads a load of confidence going into going into Exeter game Saturday. Yeah, I mean, what what I saw, um, and I've rewatched it back as well because I'm looking for certain areas and and, and stuff, trying to pinpoint it. I mean. The, the the build up were quicker, the sharper, more direct. Yeah, absolutely. I think Cadden did have a point to prove with him being out, like I said earlier. I think because he'd been out, uh, getting forward, he offered that more attacking threat. But in the same respect, I think all areas at pitch, they all, I mean, I saw a man at a match after it, and it was like, take your pick, you could have thrown a net over him because of that many decent yeah, performances uh, from Liam Roberts, you know. Uh, pulling off some great reflex saves, um, and and if I'm being honest, I saw Max Watters. My eyebrows red. I'm thinking, here we go. But again, has he got a point to prove? He looked a different player. Um, whether it's you know, Collins is sim back at weekend and thought, yeah, do you know what, we need to up it. We need to do. It. And at times, I don't know about you, Ryan, but at times it looked like. When we were, I think, 2 0 up, yeah, I think when we were 2 0 up, it looked like we we're going to a bit of a, a far at back and allowing Karen to push yeah. forward a bit. Then to alter it a bit, didn't it? I, 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 I honestly, I prefer to play as far back, far at back, mate. Mm. I'm not sold on this three at back thing. I think it just, I think it's just a bit, you're either, you're either pushing your wing backs to forward, too far forward. You know, you've got to have the right players and the right skill of players to do it, to make it mm. work for me. Just because it works for top teams, it doesn't mean it's going to work for a League One team, but. You know, it's they know tactics better than me. But for me, you either you either push your wing backs too far forward, and then you have then you have gaps at the back down your wings, or you have them too drop too far deep, and you actually play in a five three two as opposed to a three five two, and then you you know you, you're impacted when you're going up going up front. So <clears throat> it's not for me. I think if we want to play, we seem to want to play with quite a lot of wing play. We seem to go down flanks probably a little bit too much. I like them going down flanks. I don't mm. like going down flanks, but. I think you've got to mix it up a little bit, otherwise, like it, you know, on Saturday, we were trying to do it all the time against Blackpool, weren't we? And it just mm. they just knew what we were doing, it was too easy to defend. Mm. Um, so for me, I think they should play 4 4 2, but but that's you know, that's that that's down to Neil Collins. But you're right, yeah, they definitely seem to be more, you know, pushing the wings back further up, you know, O'Keefe and um, yeah, and Cadden were much further up the field, yeah. I thought yeah. John Russell had a great game as well, though. It, it, it that's his best game in a bouncy shirt by a mile. I was just going to touch on John Russell there because I thought he got. I mean, I'm I'm not big slovering him. I'm being honest, but when I yeah. saw V, I'm thinking that's the kind of player when we're raving about him at Huddersfield. Um, and again, just I'm just what you were saying there. I think his best game has been in a in a balance shape, uh by by my yeah. imagination. I think he's uh, get. I think he's getting better now. What I what I said because we're talking about we are kid because uh, I watched it up at his house on Tuesday. And I'm saying, you know, when we put Kane into that CDM role and dropped mm. dropped Russell from it, it it just didn't work. Kane can't, Kane's an attacking midfielder, so not only does he not play that position that well because he's not used to playing it, it also mm. removes one of his attacking options, which is 
which is Irby's part of his best best part of his game is picking that ball up in that attacking. And he has got the pass. So he has got that defence yeah. splitting pass. Put him back there. It's not his position in all the players, and he, and, he, and he's out. He's out of the attack for for large parts of it. Um, so you know, if whilst whilst Connell's out, he is our best option at CDM because that's what he does. That's his role. That's his position. If that's his position, then he's the best option we've got for CDM, and we want to utilise a CDM in a three-five-two formation. Then Russell needs to be playing it. And you saw that against Cambridge. He he were in that position. He were in that little hole, weren't he? Yeah. Um, where where we were missing loads on last, last Saturday against Blackpool. Matt times with either a goal kick or a clearance by Roberts, and then there'd be an header at middle of park. He'd knock it back towards our end, and there were nobody to pick it up at middle of park. There were nobody, nobody in that gap, and Blackpool were p- picking it up all the time. And he, he, he seemed to plug that gap, and, and it, it made a massive difference because that's the role he plays. I thought I thought he had a great game. So for me, he's got to be playing, unless he's playing absolutely shocking. But he's got whilst Connell's not. Well, Connell's not fit, and we want to play that formation. We need a CDM. He's got to play because that's his position. That's what he's always played, and that's what he does best. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, four and out performance. I think you know a lot of fans like saying, "Well, we need a win now." Like saying, "Is it going to be a win now of performance?" But an early goal from Cadden, it, it sent to. I won't say knock stuff in Atom, but we never really offered out. Uh, and we were not going to send this the all the time. We were taking it to them, we're not allowing them. Apart yeah. from odd skirmish, and then uh, Roberts dealt with it. But across pitch, it were hard. Um, I've seen some people give Russell man at match. I've seen some say Roberts. There's, well, that many, to be fair, I, I, I really yeah. stuck me to pinpoint <laughs> a man to. In positive, positively for a change to say, yeah, come weekend, I'm like, we're all bang average. This time round, it was like, it's going to be an hard call, this one. But uh, yeah. I want because I, I, people like saying to give me and all, but I want to get Russell. I'm saying, I give it, I match. give it Russell. I agree with you, Neil. I give it Russell on night. I said, I think he's mad at match. I just think just because he was so good in the shirt, I thought he played the role really well and he, and he got a belting goal. He really mm. did. It was a crack, cracking strike, that. so I think he deserved that, didn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But I think it's, it's fair to because I thought they given it. Both games he's played night first team since he got dropped. Mm. So, first time he's played, uh, he's... Um, sorry, wife's just coming in two seconds. Yeah, sure, sure. In two seconds. Right. So, I think the first two times he's played since he's come back, he's... He's been really good. I'm impressed that he won most impressive players on field against uh, against Blackpool. I mean, that's not a massive thing because they were all quite poor. But I thought I thought the Gibney played really well and he played really well again the other night. So hopefully he is the player that we wanted to sign. Yeah. You know. Yeah, positive signs. I mean, I'm I'm like looking forward like now to weekend game, thinking another away fixture. I'm feeling more confident and positive where I am thinking extra. Another tricky ground, yeah. It's still going yeah. to be tricky, you know, another away day. But with the away form that we've been on at the minute, I, I, I can't see. I don't mean dis- disrespectful to Exeter, but I can't see how we've got no to fear. As in, right? Look at his away form. Look at goals we're scoring. Look at performance just recently against Cambridge. Yeah, I'd be going into ex- uh, extra game. Would I be making any changes? No, definitely not. And Don't before you yeah, he, he needs to get to know his start. Consistent, 11, doesn't, it? doesn't it? Yeah. Consistent. And if we're, if we're winning and we've just won four and out, then you, it's difficult to argue and, mm. any changes, isn't it? Because then mm. why would you? It's daft, isn't it? Really? I didn't see any uh, injuries picked up or out. I think Do you know, I saw Mac- uh, McCartney at the end of the game when they were coming, they were, you know, they were, they, I said he'd come off bench with an ice pack under his knee. Really, he got, to, he got to a cough for, for uh, Jack Shepard, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. I don't know if it's yeah. a knock, it were right, it were a big ice pack under his un, just under his kneecap, not on his kneecap, but underneath it. So I don't know if he's caught one, right? Um, or Keep whether it is a bit of an internal knee injury, but well, I suppose, I suppose we'll see, won't we? That would be interesting when we do press conferences and that, like, wouldn't it? See, see what yeah. happens. But I, I agree with you. I mean, I won't change a winning side barring any injuries. Um, and people say, well, I'd still change what is I'm thinking, no, because I think it's this time like now, nah, you can't be thinking about, and if it's working, I mean, you've just, you've just won four and out away. Why why would you change it apart that from the ages you yeah. want, would you? No. 
You know, because then I mean? if you do and it doesn't go right, it's like why do you not start with same eleven? Yeah. You know, I yeah. think you're much safer starting with same eleven because you won four 0 Nobody can really argue with that. You know, no. and we lost it for for larger, you know, for for large parts of that game before we started making substitutions. So. And interesting and all, when substitutions came on, were decent substitutions and all. At right yeah. time, freshen it up, game were over with kind of thing. But again, we weren't taking a risk and it, it, it were refreshing to see people come off a bench and you think, yeah, do you know what? Cosgrove could possibly pop up with a goal here. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, well, you know. Benson, I thought, but it was really nice to see Josh back, I have to say, Josh yeah. Benson. Really good to see, good to see him back. So I think he's, there's, there's a great player in there. Mm. Uh, I think he's been plagued by injuries a little bit, but when he when he started last season, when he was on form, he, he was superb. Mm. Um, so it was great to see Josh back and him pick up the um, uh, pick up the assist for, for John Russell's goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think we more or less agreed it that there's going to be no changes. I mean, I won't personally make any changes. Um, again, extra no mugs. We know what what they no, can do. Not. Extra, yeah. you know it's. Um, it's it's going to be a tricky ground to go well, to. They're up there with us, Neil. They're, they're up there with us. I mean, yeah, they've got we're about ten for nine, aren't we? Ten for yeah, but about. not far. It's not in points, is it? Really? No, 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 no. In points, why? So they're, they're definitely up there with us. Um, they're a very good side. Uh, a very good side at home. It has to be said. Last season they were brilliant at home. Hmm. Um, and they got just three one, didn't they? In fact, yeah. they did double over is like the only team. Yeah, what rearranged fixture on it, but yeah, remember? Yeah, two nil and three one, wasn't it? Two nil at home, well, three one at their place. Yeah. Um. So they're, de- they're definitely a decent side. Um, you know, it's going to be a very difficult game, really. Mm. Um, you know, it could, be, it could easily go either way. Um, so we'll, we'll I, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see because they are a bit of a bogey team, but they play it. But yeah, I mean, I was looking at extra uh, form and they've, they've, they've lost the last three. So right. again, if we are, they need a performance, then don't they? Yeah, they'll be looking for a, an arm. You know. Second in form, you know, Barnsley kind of thing. They see that, I won't say as a scalp or such, but they see it as a chance to probably get their season back on oh, track. Yeah. And like I said, three points for you. And they're, what, we're on 16 points, uh, six spot, Peterborough on 18. So again, it's it's tight. It's tight. Isn't it? tight so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't make any changes. I think key man for me on day, again, I'd be looking for midfield area. Um, he could be looking at Russell again. He could be looking at Styles. Yeah. But again, I'd be looking for a, you know, just going on as, as performances away. I'd be going for a, a Barnsley two-one win. I think on this one, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it, I think I think it'll be tight, but I think we I think we can get a decent victory as well. But I think we, with the way that we've defended away from home, I think I'm I'm going to go for a clean sheet. I'm going to say. Okay. I'm gonna be daring. I'm gonna say two 0 Barnsley. Two 0 Barnsley. Two. Yeah, we'll take that all day long. I mean, we're sitting fourth at minute in the league, um, and again, I think it's VFA taking Portsmouth from twenty five, Oxford and twenty four, one and two. We're on nineteen, just behind Bolton by a point. So again, it's just getting that bit of consistency. And I think if we if we can get that consistency, consistency, sorry, in starting eleven, I think the results will start to come into it kind of thing and yeah who knows he, he might have like seen that performance for you and think yeah this might be me starting 11 now yeah which i hope he does okay. the, the only potential changes is maybe is is shepherd coming in for mccart if mccart's knock he's not recovered mm. um but like other than that like you say leave, leave it as it is for me most i think most influential player but if we're going to keep a clean sheet and i think he's been so good this season so far in 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 keeping the goals down, I'm going to say Liam Roberts because I thought it was I thought it was brilliant yeah. again the other night. Yeah, um, I mean, so. what 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 would you watch just before we go on that? I mean, you've gone Liam Roberts. I've gone like midfield area, but again, Liam Roberts has been rightly up there for man of match performances for the last few weeks. To be fair, some uh, saves pulled off. Yeah, a lot of fans have took to him. They've took to him, you know, like he's one of his own. I, I wish he was. And you know, he's had contract at the end of the season. Would you like the club to get it sorted out come January and say, look, just go out and get him and make him our number one? Is absolutely. I've, I've said that. I've said it earlier on. I said as soon, I said it earlier on. Someone said he's a decent keeper. Mm. We got that money from Kitchen. Yeah, we got the money from Mads and all that. There's, there's plenty of plenty of money in coffers. Mm. Get it organised now because he's only got six months left on his contract. Mm. The only person that's probably going to stop it is him. 
Because mm. even going back to Middlesbrough, his contract finishes in summer, so it's not like Middlesbrough waiting for him to come back to them. Yeah. Uh, unless they're unless they're thinking about putting an offer in, and it looks like he's loving playing, doesn't he? Loving football, yeah. doesn't he? And I think you know, going with some daft like half a million for him, mm. you know, mm. with six months left on his contract, or even 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 more, even a bit more if if necessary. I mean, we saw Brad Collins six hundred, but it's six hundred and forty grand to somewhere out eventually, kind of thing. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. Hands, right? whatever it whatever it was. So mm. if he can fetch that sort of brass a year left on his contract, Liam Roberts could easily fetch that. And I think we ought to go in, get it in front of him now. And January first, announce the signature. Yeah, you know how I mean, do it. Work it back down now and getting him to agree to it. No, no, no. And while it's going well and he's buzzing, why not? Don't let yeah. you know. Don't don't do. Don't miss out. Yeah. Don't do what we did with Estad, which was miss out. Miss out. Yeah, exactly. Leave it well at last minute. Yeah. So, so all being well, we'll have Liam Roberts as a as his own number one uh, permanently. Uh, I think that'd be, and I think that'd go down well with. All the fans. I, 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 Every uh, single last fan. one of them. Mate. Yeah, yeah I said one criticizing me out is he's coming, done job. Is a deal to the fans. Fans love him. He'll come round on his own after the players. Oh, and, and I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what? You'll do for me. Absolutely, yeah, well, he's me. a character, mate. If you see him when we score, yeah. he loves it, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's really, he's really passionate about it. He's proper, moment, he's proper he? celebrating. And if you look, every single game, well, regardless of result. He comes over to the fans and he gets True. closest to the fans. He comes all the way up and claps them every True. single game. Yeah. So yeah, I think he's. Uh, I think we're taking to him quite quickly, aren't we? Yeah. As fans, very true. It's all um, you want from me. It's all you want from your players, lads that want to be there, that want to play for the club, and want to work, proud to wear a shirt. That's all you want, and you'll. Yeah. The fans will love you. So. Yeah. And I'm just going on that way. What you just said, Vera, it comes around regardless of the result, uh, win, lose, or draw. And I think it was. It was either the. I think it was Oxford game, from being honest, at home when we lost. And yeah. he come round, and he, he knew, he obviously, be what fans want, what were left for you. And he's like this, hand on art, as if he says, sorry, and sorry, I'm thinking, look, mate, you've, you've tried your best, you've put, tried pulling off saves, it's not your fault for the rest of the team, but and I'm thinking, fair play, fair play to him. And, he, you know, in front of the punch end, you know, because you could get, you know, blah, but I'm thinking, no, fair play to you, mate. You, you, you know, You've had decency to come out and yeah, uh, I take my hat off to he's him. He's got plenty in bank, Neil, as that lad. He's got plenty, yeah. he's got plenty of grace in bank with his performance and his yeah. save. So even if he drops a bit of a clanger, I'll make some mistakes. Bro, you may not. I don't, I don't think I don't think Barnes fans will hold it against him. Could just, no. just to see what he's done so far. And it's not done on purpose. He'll pull he'll he'll, he'll you know yeah. pull he'll put it's pulled off some saves like uh, against uh, Cambridge other nights when it went down and he's like up, down, up, down. I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what is is in it, this lad. Is, is, yeah, in fact, Charlie said the other night, I think he's um, his best keeper we've had in a long time, probably yeah. since Luke Steele. Heinz Muller, yeah, I saw someone say Heinz Muller yeah. and Luke Steele, and I'm like, yeah, do you know what? Look what happened to Luke Steele, he came in on emergency loan, made his debut away at Anfield and ended up being yeah. at Barnsley, so I'm hoping we can get something sorted out with this kid, Liam, yeah. Liam Roberts, and some similar, and if he goes on for, and we get a fair few season out him, I'll be well happy me, i am well happy if it felt like that. So, Ryan, appreciate that. We've both gone for Barnsley well, wins. You've gone for clean sheet. Uh, we'll start up a campaign, see Matthew up and down or someone like that to uh, Liam Roberts' campaign, get it going, getting signed up now. But, uh, yeah, uh, 4-0 win away from home. Let's hope we can carry on the same vein of form at weekend and make the weekend an even better one because it's an international break. So, let's see if we can uh, keep it running as away form. All fans that are travelling, Bit of distance, so safe journey here, safe journey back. As we always say, get back to South Yorkshire. Three points at bank, and uh, we can uh, knock on from there. But Ryan, appreciate you taking your time out, mate. Uh, as always, good debate. We'll be doing a live on Friday. I think Charlie and Dan are on about joining on that one, so that should be interesting. Some talk debates. There's a bit of stuff in news been happening, uh, not just bands but EFL as well. Like so, with managers going, so be a bit of a Bit of a nice discussion on that one. So, Ryan, as always, been a pleasure. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>